Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Have you ever read or seen something that just completely blew your mind? You know, those moments where your world is completely turned upside down. Well, I've had 10 of those recently. I was doing my usual searching of the interwebs when Marvel's multiverse landed me down a winding road of real theories that have me rethinking what I know to be true. Now I'm going to take you down the same mind-bending journey. But before I do, consider clicking that subscribe button and hitting the bell. After the video, should you still be able to comprehend the world that surrounds you, give it a like and be sure to comment with your own incredible theories. Really, go to town with your own concepts. Number 10. Eternalism As we live our lives, we do so in the present. We consider the past and future as things that neither no longer exist in the world or will exist. That's the philosophy of presentism, that only the present is real. Eternalists believe differently and claim that all three aspects of time are real and exist regardless of our inability to interact with them. Essentially, the future is a fixed element that isn't altered by our actions, which kind of makes everything seem kind of pointless, no? Number 9. Phenomenalism You know that keyboard you're about to type a comment to me on? That doesn't exist. And the computer screen you're watching me on also doesn't exist. They're simply a perceived phenomenon based on the sensory stimuli we apply to them. For instance, you perceive the keyboard to be hard and smooth, but it doesn't exist as a tangible object. Its existence is based on what some would call sense data, or the properties applied to it. Number 8. The Many Worlds Interpretation If you read comic books, chances are you know a bit about the many worlds theory. It basically states that every possible outcome and event that could exist does in its own universe. When you make a decision, according to the theory, multiple universes are created. One follows your decision, while the others play out had you chosen differently. So there's a universe out there with a version of you that didn't spend the past four hours on YouTube. And there's one where archive writer Mark finished his degree and is running his own publishing company. Oh, stop it, Mark. You know you love it here. Number 7. Retro Causality Though he wasn't the first to consider it, in January of 2011, Dr. Daryl J. Bem of Cornell expanded the concept of precognition and sought to prove retrocausality with his paper, Feeling the Future, Experimental Evidence for Anomalous Retroactive Influences on Cognition and Effect. So you don't have to break out the dictionary, the paper discussed the experiments performed by BIM to prove that events in the future could affect a person in the present. Truth be told, this one is still blowing our minds. Great Scott! Number 6. Chaos Theory in the words of the great mathematician Ian Malcolm, a butterfly can flap its wings in Peking, and in Central Park you get rain instead of sunshine. Sure, the butterfly effect is just one principle of the broader chaos theory, and arguably the most well-known, but it helps pinpoint the basis of unpredictability. The multiple principles of chaos theory, unpredictability, order and disorder, mixing, feedback, and fractals all paint the bigger picture that, in a sense, says the more we understand the chaotic and unpredictable nature of the world, the more we can survive and thrive within it. But wait, wouldn't movement toward understanding chaos and the unpredictable actually then add to more chaos and unpredictability? Oh, my brain is starting to hurt again. Let's move on. Number 5. Simulation Hypothesis It's right there in the name. Everything you know and everyone you love is all a part of one big artificial simulation. It's a reality you've seen unravel in films like The Matrix and Total Recall. But simulation hypothesis has real-world roots dating as far back as the 4th century BC. Based on the theory, we're essentially one large game of The Sims. Wait a second. Didn't the Cats and Dogs expansion for The Sims 4 come out around the same time I got a new dog? Oh. That's creepy. Whoa. Number 4. Clashing Brains Theory According to Clashing Brains, the universe is just a floating membrane caught in some higher dimension of space. An offshoot of string theory, Clashing Brains claims there are extra dimensions of space, one of which we exist within. 
Occasionally, it crashes into neighboring universes, creating a new Big Bang-like event. Much like the original Big Bang Theory, Clashing Brains claims that with each collision, a new universe is created, which lends to the possibility of an infinite amount of universes. Huh, so long as ours doesn't just cease to exist one day, of course. Number 3. Copenhagen Interpretation According to 20th century physicist Niels Bohr, quantum particles exist in every possible state. So why, when we observe particles, are they always in one solid state? According to the Copenhagen interpretation, when we observe the particle, it's forced to take on one form. When we observe it again, it'll be in a different state. It's a similar concept to the many worlds interpretation, but rather than existing in multiple universes until observed, the object exists in every state in one universe. Chances are you've heard of Schrodinger's cat. Well, the concept of the cat existing in both a state of life and death falls right in line with the Copenhagen interpretation. We might consider Schrodinger's cat. Schrodinger. Is that the woman in 2A? No, that's Mrs. Grossinger. Number two, the big freeze. Hey kids, wanna hear one insane way the universe may end? It's called the big freeze. And if you believe the universe is ever expanding, then you'll want to pay close attention. According to the theory, the universe will reach a state where it can no longer sustain the breakdown of energy and matter. With no more room for usable energy, in this case, heat, the universe will cease motions and will all enjoy a drastic drop in temperatures until life is no longer sustainable. All right, everyone, chill. Number one, fictional realism. According to fictional realists, theoretically, Batman does exist. So do Pokemon and Jon Snow and Spider-Man and, well, every other fictional character in place you could possibly think of. What really drives the philosophical theory of fictional realism is existentialism. What defines existence? Isn't the concept of the United States the same as, say, the concept of Tatooine? Both exist as an idea collectively agreed upon by many people, right? I, I'm actually asking. Oh, my brain is so tired from this list. I'll see you guys in the comments section. But thanks for watching. Here's a great idea that's been agreed upon by many, many people to click the subscribe button. And are these two additional videos truly real for you to enjoy? Well, you'll just have to take a look for yourself.